Friday, May 8th, head coach Dennis Baker Jr.'s Hopkinton Hillers softball team headed to Bellingham to take on Dennis Baker Sr.'s Bellingham Blackhawks. Both teams 10-1 and one heading into this matchup with a chance to take control of the TVL bottom of the first. We bring in the Juliet Hume strikeout counter. Light up and the pitch, a swinging strike, and there's K number one. Set to deal, swinging strike, and that is K number two, out number three. Top of the second, the Hiller struck first. And this is hit on the ground up the middle, and it is gloved by the second baseman, played on in time, one run scores, and a second run is not going to be in time. Bottom of the second, more Julian Hume Ks. Jenna Bogan reached on an error, there's a strike. And that is out number one. Hume deals, there strike three. Nasty. Hume strikes out the side. Top of the third, Kayla Sullivan at the plate. Man on, two outs. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air, towards right field, towards the fence, and that is gone. A two run home run. Kayla Sullivan does it again, her fifth of the season. Three nothing Hillers. Hopkinton up three to nothing in the bottom of the fourth. Here are some more Juliet Hume strikeouts. Hume to the set. There's strike three. Hume gets the side. Strike three. Hume set to deal. Strike three, she strikes out the side for the second time today. Bottom of the fifth, Bellingham plates a run. Down low, gets by the catcher, and a throw to Hume, and the run scores. Things got a little bit dicey in the bottom of the seventh. Hume deals. On the ground, up the middle, played at second, throw to first, and they get one. A run does score. These two teams always play great games against each other. Hit in the air to shallow short. Will Zell makes the catch. And the Hopkinton Hillers have won. They beat the Bellingham Blackhawks three to two. The Hopkinton Hillers hold on for the huge win. Hume struck out 12. Kayla Sullivan hit her fifth dinger of the year. And coach Dennis Baker Jr. was able to breathe again. Coach, a tough game last Friday, uh, and you always dread playing your father and the Bellingham Blackhawks, but you guys came away with, with a uh, nerve-wracking victory. Can you talk about the Bellingham game? Like usual, it was uh, a one-run game that came down to the very end, and you're right. I, I dread that day, um, partly because of, of who the coach is, but mostly because they're such a good team. Every year, they're one of the best programs in the state and we know that they're not going to beat themselves. You're going to have to go over to Bellingham or play them over here and actually win the game on your own. They're not going to make mistakes and make it easy for you. Um, so it's a high pressure environment. It's pretty stressful, but our girls played tremendous. They played so gutsy over there the other day because when things start happening, it's a short field. I mean, a pop-up could, could leave the ballpark and change the game. They also have a lot of fans over there that get a little boisterous and not rowdy, but they you know, show the support for the Blackhawks, which is a little unusual in the sport. You don't usually have a lot of fans at a lot of these games. So it's a tough atmosphere, and our girls played tremendous under a lot of pressure this year over there. So I was really proud of them. Yeah, it was really nerve wracking, but I knew I had my defense behind me and my catcher was really good at calming me down. So I had confidence. Um, we're definitely looking to stay undefeated in the league, and I honestly think we can do it.